Hello, prismatic tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. It's me, Blue Ankylo. It's time to uh, pick up some Rainbow Shell. But wait, there's a trial of this entry against the king. What? What are you guys talking about? The Chancellor's in charge? You must be kidding me, right? So this, uh, this is new. I don't remember... Why are there snakes down here? I don't remember this being part of the castle. Marl, do you remember this when you were growing up? What have we done? Playing with time. Wait, were these stairs over there before? Yeah, what's going on? So, um... we still got a nice kitchen, I guess. Wow, give her a break, man! Wow, Chancellor's gone kind of crazy. Alright, well let's go see this trial of the century. That's still locked. Remember that one? That was locked a long time ago. Oh. Um... Yeah, don't get in Marl's way. Is this going to be another kangaroo trial? Kangaroo court, that is to say. Uh, have any of you heard of the royal heirloom known as the Rainbow Shell? I, too, had no idea of its existence. Um, an ancestral will written by the hand of our own king's distant forebears. Unveil the Rainbow Shell to the people of the, the Millennial Fair, that they might enjoy the blessing of our royal treasure. I have no idea what you're talking about! Um... Um... Sold the priceless heirloom? Uh... It... Yeah, I mean, this is kind of hard to explain. It does sound like it, though. Simple matter. Okay, let's get some proof. Bring the rainbow shell before the court. Not that you will succeed. <laughs> um. Wait. Just like this? They're gonna, like... What are they gonna do, like, execute the king? Come on, Marl, just keep yelling. Oh, it only worked the one time. All right, let's do this. <laughs> um, don't you remember? Look, see, sometimes Ayla's not dumb. We're playing with time. Let's go, yeah. I will admit that it's a... It would be a little bit confusing. Now, this guy's... <laughs> got knocked out by a rat. Um... Oh. Slither and squirm, you say. Take him out. These guys are about as strong as they were back in the cathedral. Which is bad news for them. <laughs> Alright, Marl, we got it. Wait, you bought the heirloom? <laughs> Order in the court. <laughs> you shouldn't be saying this in the courtroom where everyone can hear you. The good news is we can zip through these monsters pretty quick. Clearly we don't have much time to spare, but let's go looting. Not that important. Just some random treasure. Probably can sneak by this one if you try hard enough. 
Don't ask me about the negabromides. Everywhere we go. Why are they sticking their tongue out at us? They're about to be slaughtered. Like, demolished into... Disintegrated into dust. Ashes. Here they are laughing at us. Alright. You know what? I had enough of this. Magus, wipe them all out. Everything in this entire castle. I feel like Magus probably could wipe out the whole castle on his own. Yoink! 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 I think that's all the yoinking we're gonna get, though. Well, anyway, look at this pretty thing. Yay! We found it! Thing here. Paper here. Tomorrow. Dearest Marl, I know things are not easy with your father, but though it may be hard to realize now, know that you will ever be his daughter. Nothing can break the bonds of blood, neither distance nor words of anger. Someday you will leave the nest and have children of your own. Then you will understand the truth of what I say. Blood is the sap that flows through the limbs of a family tree. And come what may in future days, we will forever be joined by that. Queen Guardia the 21st, Lean. So now, Marl doesn't remember this being here when she was a kid. Neither did the king or anyone else. But her mom somehow knew about all of this in this timeline. Strange. So, Ayla knows all about it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Ayla's totally caught on. Thanks, Ayla. <laughs> Alright, we got some Rainbow Shard. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, that's why we brought Ayla and Marl specifically on that one. <laughs> that's a very special little cutscene for all you guys out there. <clears throat> anyway, members of the jury! But how would you have a jury of your peers if you're a king? Uh, we better hurry. We barely survived when it was Chrono on trial. And we even save that kid's cat. I don't think the kids, the king's been saving any cats. That does remind me, I have some things to do back in town. Alright. Enough of this. Marl! Just yell your way in here. One more time. We have the rainbow thinger. It's a bit rough. Four votes to one. Looks like they're just his castle guards that voted him out. Wait, the line hasn't ended? Marl's alive? The Chancellor doesn't just get the kingdom when the king is arrested? Time's up! This courtroom is out of order. She's so jumpy. <laughs> His mouth just drops. Sorry for breaking your fancy stained glass. Um. Yeah, it was a setup. I 
How's that? Scheme has failed. Didn't you hear -he me? Didn't you hee 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 me either? Uh oh. In a long line of traitorous chancellors. Turns out, it's the same trick again! Everyone say hello to Chakra the 13th. But I don't think he was expecting to run into Magus down here. Uh, I would like to steal his stuff though. Still got that alluring top. Ayla's long since left the nest as well, by the way. If we're gonna use Ayla terms. Alright, I'll still haste people up, because if you're gonna fight a boss with Marl, you may as well use haste. Um I'll just triple kick for a while. I guess I could try out some other elements with Magus, see if anything does better damage. I don't think this Yakra has any super special uh, tricks. We'll see. His minions downstairs were all pretty weak, so... I wouldn't expect much out of the... Slimer. So, you know, Black Hole's never gonna work on the boss. I could give Magic Barrier to everybody, but... Eh. See how the Dark Bomb does. We're gonna go for Dual Text now. That's not that... Well, we killed a giant dinosaur by throwing icebergs at him. I'd be surprised if this guy does any better. Did a little bit less damage. I'm just gonna use all the elements, because why not? We'll give up a little bit of damage with Magus just for fun. Besides, I think the girls will be doing the majority anyway. He's so fast. I love it. Like, we've had like, what, six, seven, eight attacks in a row now and the boss hasn't even had a turn? I heard about you. Well, I'm pretty sure the new Chancellor from 600 AD was supposed to tell everyone about Chrono, right? Anyway, it looks like probably Dark Bomb is doing about the max damage, give or take. You can use Dark Mist, but it just costs a little bit more. I did steal from him, right? We got the other plate. I think. White plate? Yeah. Your weakness is... Do we have a weakness? Chrono dying is our weakness, and he's not in this room. Oh, it's too late, Yakra. It's kind of a gross attack, by the way. And it's not nearly good enough. Alright, so look. 16 speed plus the haste is kind of insane. It's just the way it is. Oh, you know why I've been doing so well? I think I just remembered why. Remember when we fought Specchio? <laughs> Forgot about something. Oh, right, these two. Is it finally time for you two to make up? You've been fighting this entire video game. Well, you certainly didn't make it easy for her. Don't tell him everything about Chrono. Oh, her mother's name was Aliza.
You seriously didn't understand that? I guess I should have brought Chrono. I'm not sure if he would have said anything for this. Well, <laughs> Chrono wouldn't have, but Marl might have. opinion. Marl's the best. Yeah, Ayla's got it covered. Oh, look who's finally shows his face! And we thought this guy was retired. Can't let hit us have all the fun. We're just gonna switch out uh, Magus for Chrono because it feels a little bit more fitting. Now, there is something else we should do. Um, I'm just gonna go. No, we'll do this after. First, what you really wanna see is what Melchior's doing down here. <laughs> we'll go see what that sparkle in the courtroom was in a minute. So, I like it. So, we have a choice here. One prismatic dress versus three prismatic helms. For reasons we'll get into later, I'm going to go with the helm. Um, the prismatic dress, of course, is female only. Uh, the prismatic helms, I believe, can be worn by anyone. And they're pretty darn good. I think the dress comes with auto magic defense, though. The... Uh, the, the magic barrier that uh, Magus can cast. The Prismatic Helms, I do not believe, come with that. Although they should come with good magic defense anyway. It's all kind of magic defense oriented. But there might be another way to get Prismatic Dresses anyway, even though it makes it feel like this is a very uh, unique type of... Uh, you know, ability, one time only, you know. Now, if you also have the Sunstone, I guess Luca didn't quite destroy it. You get some cool prism spectacles. And Melchior just never gives up. With the last of his might, the best sword in the game. The vanilla game. Good job, Melchior. So, uh, yeah, we just got some really good stuff. As much as the Suzaku is cool, uh, this thing crits all the friggin' time. <laughs> and it's got a lot of damage. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I wish you could get both of them, 70% crit and quadruple damage crits. But the rainbow is just too good. Lots of damage, and uh, crits constantly. It's great. Um, the Helms give us good magic defense, good physical defense, and immunity to status ailments. So it's kind of like the Vigilante's hat, except better. So, uh, you know, enjoy those. They're pretty good. Now, if you had the, uh, the Prismatic Dress, it's pretty good too, but don't stress out. Uh, and then the shades, right? So we have sunglasses, which I believe are 25% damage bonus. If I remember correctly, and I have to look them up, 
but I'm pretty sure the prism spectacles are plus 50% damage. So, the amount of damage output here is kind of insane. All Chrono is missing is 3 speed, which we could probably fix shortly. And uh, he's just a monster. Whoever you give the prism spectacles to is, is kind of a monster. It's great though. I love, I love overpowering my characters at the end of the game. It's so much fun. All right, so yeah, thanks everyone. Say thank you to Melchior. Uh, he gave us some awesome stuff. You could have done this side quest earlier if you wanted, uh, but it's so powerful the stuff you get out of it that it makes the other side quests kind of too easy. So I kind of recommend doing it last because, I mean. Did you see that sword? It makes every other sword in the game obsolete. And the Prism Spectacles do basically the same thing. And same thing with the Rainbow Helm. Like, if you already had the Rainbow Helm, and then you saved the forest, so you could buy the Vigilance Helm, or the Vigilance Hat, it'd be completely worthless by that point, so. Oh, a strange key. Pretty sure the first Yakra dropped a key as well. Wonder if it fits this strange chest. I wonder how long this poor guy's been locked up in there. Ah, uh, yeah, we're friends. The Moonlight Parade! We wouldn't be getting any Moonlight Parades if we didn't rescue this guy. Although, the group really isn't ready for a party just yet. We still have a world to save from Lavos. Alright. Sped off to the soldiers' quarters. I guess we could go say hello to him. Oh, I think we should go to the uh, the kitchen as well. So yeah, our lawyer no longer needs to defend us. <laughs> Ooh. Did he say tonight? Well. With the beauty of time travel, tonight's gonna have to wait, but uh, maybe we'll get a Moonlight Parade one day. For our heroes, there's still a fair ways to go before that. Uh, so yeah, I want to check out the kitchen, and then we'll be done here. Have a seat. So... This wasn't here before. <laughs> we used to have the choice of the power roast and the refreshing bread, I believe. But seeing as we saved the world in 600 AD, and I guess it turns out that our mom just named us after this hero. <laughs> it's probably a really popular name now, and half the kids at school are named Chrono. Everyone's really impressed. And I'm sure Ayla's quite happy to eat it. <laughs> Not like it matters much, but... Full health, good deal. Alright. I believe that's all for the castle. So, what do we do next? Well, there's definitely some stuff I want to do at the fair. We're going to do that... Well, probably next episode. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to have to farm some silver points. Off camera. And then next time I'll have a few hundred, hopefully. So I can just try to win some Norstein Beckler prizes. Because there's a lot of little things there I want to show off. Uh, before we do that, there's one last little detail about the Rainbow Shell quests that we could finish up. Now, if you remember, Toma uh, was supposed to die. Oh, don't mind the fact that there's a robot here, even though we have a robot in our party. No time paradoxes. Um, Toma was supposed to die searching for the Rainbow Shell and never really succeed at it. Um, but now we have the Rainbow Shell. Even this timeline, the king knows about it. So, the guy who originally hired Toma... There's no resolution here? Maybe we'll just have to go talk to him ourselves. They do give us some little tips on where to find the side quests. Alright. Alright. I thought that guy was going to say something about, uh... About Toma. Let me just check this elder's house. 
Yeah, this is just old, old, old stuff. No big deal. Alright, hold up. Well, let's see if we can find, uh, Toma. Maybe he's come back to the tavern. There he is. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It's very likely you would have been eaten by the Tyranno, that's true. Oh! Well, good luck. So anyway, the, the news here is that he, uh, will no longer spend his life searching for the stone, or the shell. <laughs> He'll spend his life searching for the shell, though. Uh, I suppose we could check if, uh, his tombstone updates. I guess he still lasted. I think it it honestly should have said 600 AD originally, whereas he, like after after hanging out in the village for a while, he went tried to get the rainbow shell because that was his job. And then after you get the shell, I think the date should update to 634 like this properly. But uh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Small detail. Chrono Trigger gets so many things right. A little thing like that, no big deal. All right. Well. There's one more little thing we'll do for today's episode before I end, but like I said, I'm going to do some, uh, some, uh, robot bashing in between episodes. We've got lots of, lots of festival points. But it's been a while since we've visited our, uh, smidge again. I want to see how he's doing. I suppose we could fight Specchio again, but he has not upgraded. He will upgrade one more time. But that won't happen for a very long time. Not level 50, I don't think. So, let's just have a quick look at the Arena of Ages. Good. Say hello to our monster, see how he's doing. I would have to look up a walkthrough to figure out exactly how to build these guys super effectively. There's probably some tricks, but, uh, well, his speed keeps going up. We're going to have to balance that. Looks like he lost some trust for whatever reason. But he got a lot of strength and pretty good speed. Um, still no techs. I guess we'll give him one more fight. If I, I, I would like to show off some more of the up, the higher end, uh, monster trainer stuff, but, uh, I'll probably have to do some of this off camera as well, just because, um, it's, it is, it's a bit repetitive, takes some time. Even just this fight, like, I'll give him his critical thingamajigger. And then we'll just let him wait till he gets a crit, basically. Although I'm doing a lot of damage. Maybe we're strong enough to fight a tier 2 enemy, honestly. I mean, that was kind of silly. Alright, we're not getting anything really valuable for the tier 1s. So we'd have to spend some time really investing into our- investing in our guy. Um... It's possible at this point it's worth sending him to, uh... Try to get a class change. Maybe learn a tech or something? I don't know. Speed this up a little bit. I just mostly want to see if we can get him to evolve, basically. And I think... I think all you have to do is leave the area and go back. Now, if you don't have frame skip, it's very slow, but... Is that all? No, he didn't come back. Hmm. wonder what the trick is. Is it like one battle or something? Maybe maybe there's a certain number of battles and you have to come back. Like wonder if Specchio counts. You can just kill us quickly, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, we certainly have a lot easier time killing him now than when we first tried to fight this form. Because we lasted a pretty good time. I just want to see if that's kind of the trigger. He would have told us when we came back. Alright. 
Well, I don't remember. I think there is a, a way to sort of gimmick the, or game the system to make it a little bit quicker, but uh, anyway, that's fine. All right, I'm going to head back to 1000 AD and get some silver points. Next episode, we're going to show off um, uh, some of the... Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Next, next episode, we're going to show off some uh, some festival stuff that we, we could have done ages ago, but uh, I figure now is a fair time. And then we'll... We'll talk a little bit about how we're going to approach the end game here, because it's pretty much time to fight Lavos, pretty much. So we'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.